Mike Davis is the man, founder of the Article 3 Project, a former law clerk for Justice Neil Gorsuch and a former chief counsel for the nominations for the U.S. Senate Committee on the Judiciary, knows what he is talking about. Hey, Mike, welcome back to the show. Great to have you with us, sir. Thank you for having me back. Well, we always appreciate it. I'm on, I'm on the phone. Our, our power went out uh, at my studio, but I'm on the phone, and I appreciate you taking the time because it's, it's, a, it's very important that we chat. I was in the courtroom day before yesterday at the quote-unquote Trump trial. Mike, Mike, it seemed like, it seemed like traffic court, the way this guy Mershon handles himself. I felt, you know, and, and this is the analogy I've been making. You go to a traffic court, you, they say, oh, you went through the red light. You go, no, it wasn't. It was yellow. And then you got to hear this judge, you know, and traffic, that's the way it was. It's a kangaroo court. They keep been saying, it's scary though, Mike, because the, of the power that they have garnered, sir. But you thinking Trump just walks from this or a hung jury at the very least? I don't know about that because I think this is such a corrupt, rigged process that I would not be surprised at all if this Manhattan jury finds Trump guilty, the judge convicts, and even this judge tries to put Trump in prison. Let me tell you why. You have the Soros-funded Manhattan DA, Alvin Bragg, who campaigned on getting Trump. He brought in Matthew Colangelo, this number three political appointee in the Biden Justice Department to bring these bogus cases against President Trump, these bogus charges. We still don't know after the trial is over what the legal allegations are against President Trump. And how the hell can you defend yourself as a criminal defendant if the prosecutor hasn't even told you the legal allegations? And so they're before this corrupt Manhattan judge, Juan Mershon, who just happens to randomly, and I say that in quotes, get picked for all these Trump cases, he was put on the 2022 uh, fraud case, criminal fraud case against the tax, uh, the Trump organization. He was put on Trump CFO case in 2023, where Juan Mershon sent the 75-year-old CFO to Rikers Island. And then he's on the current Trump case now. And then he's on the Bannon case in 2025. This is not random. This is a hit. And this judge is corrupt. His, not only did he donate to Biden in another, another anti-Trump cause, illegal contributions by a judge under New York statute that got him reprimanded by the New York judicial system, his adult daughter, Lauren Michon, is fundraising off of this case. She's raising millions of dollars as a Democrat consultant and fundraiser for Biden, Kamala Harris, Adam Schiff, many other Democrats. That requires Michon's recusal under New York statute, and he didn't recuse. Instead, he expanded this illegal gag order on Trump. Instead of Trump mentions Colangelo or mentions Lauren Michon or responds to Stormy Daniels, this bimbo porn star who's changed her story several times, testified she hated Trump and is cashing in with her pen porn site on Twitter. Or if Trump mentions Michael Cohen, this disbarred serial perjurer, felon, who's changed his story several times, admitted to embezzling $60,000 from Trump in this trial, admitted that he's bitter that Trump didn't bring him into the, to the White House, and he's also raising money on TikTok, trashing Trump. Trump can't even talk about the fact that this jury pool in Manhattan is 87% Biden voter, and that the prosecutors and this judge, Brad Colangelo and Marshawn, further rigged the process by weeding out the three people in Manhattan who follow Trump on social media, but not Biden. If Trump mentions any of that, he goes to jail. This is a kangaroo court. I, it's, I say it's a joke, but it's so deadly serious. Yeah, you can see it. But do you think that Mershon, before we get to the specifics, Mike Davis, that Mershon is pressure. He looked under pressure. And I saw Colangelo, this guy, Matthew Colangelo you're talking about. This guy, this guy is an amateur, man. I'm watching it. And then I'm looking at Donald Trump, and he's the former president of the United States. Like him, don't like him. He's the former president. you got amateurs running this clown show in a courtroom, and you're utilizing all the stellar elite law enforcement, whether it's the court law enforcement, the, the, the city law enforcement, the Secret Service. I am shocked that it has gotten to this. But Mershon looks like he is under pressure, and I don't know that it's a direct pressure or he just feels it's his responsibility to take out the accountant, like you said, to take out Donald Trump and then Steve Bannon after that. 
I, he looked like he was. He, he, the, the guy doesn't look like he's mentally stable. Mike Davis, the Piscopo talking, not you, but about Mershon. I mean, he he doesn't look well. I got to tell you straight up. Yeah, he's corrupt, and he he knows that his daughter Lauren Mershon stands to gain or lose a lot of money. There's these millions of dollars that she's raising, she gets a percentage of that. So if she if Judge Mershon does not deliver for Biden Democrats, there goes Lauren Mershon's Democrat campaign consulting and fundraising business. And, you know, that's why he has to recuse under New York statute. And that's not just crazy Mike Davis saying this. A former federal Clinton judge from New York City went on Caitlin Collins' show on April 5th, 2024 on CNN and said that Judge Juan Mershon has to recuse under New York statute because of his daughter's financial stake. He refused. He, he expanded the Ill- illegal gag work. So, but who, is anybody watching this? Is it their jurisdiction? Is there a bar association that could do it? That protest? Well, I, I don't understand. In the United States of America, in twenty twenty four, in New York City, I mean, you got this judge has all that power. Mike Davis, this is really frightening. Yeah, and then, remember, this is a family court judge who got brought up to be an acting justice. What? They call the trial court judges the justices in New York, and he is an acting justice, and he just happens to get four of four Trump-related cases over a four-year period. This is totally rigged. Oh, and by the way, his his daughter's making a ton of money off of those cases. It's clearly rigged. It's clearly corrupt. And if you look at how this judge is going to do the jury instructions on how the the judge is going to instruct the jurors on the law, it's going to further rig this against President Trump. Yeah, I saw that. There we go. That's what I saw it, uh, the other day. We're going back and forth, the defense and the prosecution. We're going back and forth on what the judge should tell the jury. He's, and every time the defense comes up with something, he denied, denied, denied. I've never seen anything like this. Let me go, to, before we let you go, Mike Davis, and I would appreciate you being so on top of this from day one, sir. So if, if it's a misdemeanor, at worst, I mean, does this guy, Mershon, just to your point, uh, and because, because that's why he was appointed by the Department of Justice to take down Donald Trump. But can he, does he have the ability to cuff him in a courtroom and take him out on a misdemeanor, sir? Yeah, well, what they've done is they've taken, Trump t- settled a nuisance claim in 2017, put him in his private books in 2017. The allegation is that somehow that nuisance claim settlement in his private books as a legal expense is somehow a bookkeeping misdemeanor. I don't know what the hell else you would call the settlement of a nuisance claim other than a legal expense. It's not a crime at yeah. all to settle nuisance claims. Business people do it all the time. And then these this Colangelo and Bragg and Judge Bershon have transformed what are time-barred misdemeanors at best. They're not even misdemeanors because a legal expense is a legal expense. And they've transformed them somehow into 34 felony campaign finance, I think, felonies. And so if the jury finds Trump guilty, this judge will convict. And I think he'll sentence Trump to prison. Yeah, he will. They, so the, and he'll, he'll try to sway the jury to convict on the felonies, on the felony charge. And then he has the, and he think he could do it right there. But the process, Mike, John, and thanks for staying with us. The process is to get Donald Trump cuffed and walked out of out of jail. Correct. I mean, that's what that's what that, that's what the whole Department of Justice is trying to do. Correct. Yes, they know that Trump is beating Biden like a drum on November fifth, twenty twenty four, and the Democrats are looking at old old polling that shows that if you get a felony conviction against Trump, Biden will beat him. Well, that's all changed. That has changed because people like me at the Article 3 Project, have been out there every second of every day for the last 23 months explaining that this is Biden-Democrat lawfare and election interference. And now uh, this is turned against the Democrats. Trump has turned lemons into lemonade. Yeah, and he'll continue to do so no matter what happens. Uh, Mike Davis, thank you, my friend. Thanks for the detailed conversation. Please come back when you can, okay? Thank you.